As soon as videotape left the factory, it already started to break down. Information that is on the tapes is slowly dying, and if we don't preserve them, important historical content that's contained on them will be lost forever. What is MEPOPS? What is MEPOPS? What is MEPOPS? MEPOPS stands for Moving Image Preservation of Puget Sound. What MEPOPS does for the general public of the Pacific Northwest is provide access to digitized content. Our mission is to raise awareness about the magnetic media crisis, the alarm that the Association of Moving Image Archivists sounded to sort of bring awareness to the urgency of digitizing videotape. Audiovisual Archive in Australia has put a deadline of 2025 to say, if you don't have your magnetic material digitized by this time, you're, you're screwed. They're figuring out the actual date, and it's right around the corner. Within 20 to 30 years of the time it's created, it's, it's disintegrating. The magnetic media crisis is sometimes called a gathering storm because the deterioration of the actual analog videotapes and then the increasing obsolescence and rarity of the players that play them back. So video is a little bit different from film in that video went through all these different iterations, all these different formats for consumer purposes, for broadcast purposes, whereas film, there were consumer formats, 616 millimeter, 8, 8 millimeter, but the principle of film has stayed pretty consistent and video requires all these different players. A lot of the formats that we work with stopped being manufactured years ago, and so we have to make sure that we take good care of them and tune them up, clean them, because a lot of the parts and players are getting harder and harder to come by, and so are the people who actually work on them. They're a dying breed, if you will. In some cases, people thought they were creating preservation copies by putting um, film onto videotape. In fact, that was that was not a great a great a great idea. Film is actually quite stable. The thing about older media types like film and negatives is that they are stable. Thirty years from now, you're going to be able to view them. Hundred year old nitrate film, in some cases, is still around and looks gorgeous. Rosie Video, for its manufacture, had a completely different different purpose. It was more of a kind of uh, democratizing um, format for shooting. It was a lot cheaper than film, so not only were professionals using it, but also amateurs and just the average person was able to buy videotape and record. There was plenty of access. You could watch your, your VHS tape of a film, but now that VHS tape needs a lot of help. We have to keep up. We can't just sort of settle back and say, okay, we're finished. Despite the fact that we're working with old materials that have their fixed content, the way we view that material, the way we store that material is going to just keep changing and evolving. A lot of the time videotape is capturing real people doing real things. That might sound personal and boring, but it really encompasses so much of Seattle and Seattle's history that it's valuable to the general public and great for them to be able to access it. The public is able to see files digitized at MePops on Internet Archive where we create collections for each group so that they can, based on that institution, go in and view the content on their personal computer.